Oh, there we go, folks. There we go, folks. Hit. My. Music. Hello again, and welcome. It's race week, folks, here in Daytona Beach. Therefore, the, the hobos. He's sleeping. He has to go to work tomorrow morning. But it's me, it's me, it's the one, the only, the Techno Blue Ranger. Here to give you your NXT TakeOver Portland predictions. So let's, but first I have to start off. Uh, Hobo Tom did leave me some notes here, folks. I have to give some shout outs to some people. Chico Mada, you, sir, have earned that six count. Isaac Fernandez, you sir are a master of the air guitar.
And JT, JT, you have exceeded all of the hobo's expectations. Therefore, sir, probably by the next show, you, sir, are going to be a feature wrestler in the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. The hobo has nothing for you. What can I say? I'm not here to talk about what the hobo cannot do. I'm here to talk about what the Techno Blue Ranger can do. And the Techno Blue Ranger is here to give you folks some NXT TakeOver predictions. So let's start off here. Let me have my trustworthy pin of power. And as I go through this this, this list that Hobo Tom so graciously made before he told me he was going to sleep, left me the keys to his house. Why he would do that, I have no idea. Let's talk about these matches first. So here we have Keith Lee, the United States Champion, taking on Dominic Dijakovic. Keith Lee is going to retain his belt. That's very simple to say. Hmm. And you know what? That is also going to be my stone cold lock. In a women's match, or one, yeah, one of the women's matches, we have Evil Dakota Kai taking on the girl with the shiniest wizard, Tegan Knox. Hmm. Tegan Knox is going to win, folks. That sounds about right. <sighs> so hard to predict this news match, though. I will say because they might continue this. This might be the match to sleep through. Yes. Dakota Kai, even though she's going to lose to Tegan Knox, this is going to be a time to take a nap. And then we have. Adam Cole, baby, taking on the psycho killer Tommaso Ciampa. Oh, wow. I do want to see. Tommaso Ciampa is the new champion because he, he gets Goldie back. Then we have the one, the only, the undisputed era taking on the Broser Weights. Because they're a new tag team, they're not going to win. Undisputed era still has to have some kind of gold. The. Undisputed Arrow retain their championships. That sounds about right. Un Undisputed Era Era. For life. And then in my match of the night. We have Finn Balor taking on Johnny Wrestling Gargano. And as a bonus, folks, one day it will be revealed that Candice LeRae is Johnny Gargano's wife. The bonus, Candice, comes out in some fashion. Ooh, maybe she gets 1916 too. That would be good. But Finn Balor is going to defeat Johnny Wrestling Gargano. Again, that is the match of the night. And then we have Rhea Ripley taking on Bianca Belair. This was almost my sleep. But no, I already chose that. 
Rhea Ripley is going to retain her championship. And that'll be it. I don't think Hobo Tom has any plans to watch. You never know. He will definitely let you know on Monday, because on Monday... Well, a little bit about the schedule, folks. Hobo Tom did ask me to apologize for himself for not, pr not putting out the amount of videos. There's this thing called work. Of course, if you're an adult, you know what work is. And you realize that you actually have to go to work sometimes. That's very important. So with that being said, probably on Sunday, he does have his notes for both NWA and SmackDown. So he shall be telling you what he thought of both NWA and SmackDown probably sometime tomorrow. On Monday! Monday is a fun day. There's going to be a double show. Two times the action. The first show. I'm going to help Hobo Tom make a video. Mainly about his experiences for race week and his race week experience. So that you too, his loyal YouTube audience, can view that. Then he will have his normal, normally scheduled Monday Night Raw show. Tuesday, he should be more like the Techno Blue Ranger and party more, but work less. But again, that doesn't pay the bills. But I have no bills to pay, so I'm good. Hobo Tom, eh, not so much. So Tuesday, there will be no unfortunate impact show. That's just been the way that the funny ball has been bouncing. But then Wednesday, Wednesday, there will be an AEW event, or at least an AEW recap show. And then your basic Friday show, and that's going to be it for the week. The following week is going to be jam-packed full of wrestling, because that little hast week in February. You have Monday Night Raw. You have Mardi Gras. And then you'll have, well, you might have Impact. You never know. Might have AEW. Eh, you never know. You know there's SmackDown. You'll have, oh, wow, you'll have the Super Showdown from Saudi Arabia. You will do a predictions and recap about that. Friday will be... Oops, I forgot. Nope, SmackDown! And then Saturday, we're providing, he'll be, give, he'll be watching the AEW pay-per-view, and he will give again his own recap and review, for he was a naughty hobo and is still on suspension. On behalf of the one, the only, well, Hobo Tom and myself, the Techno Blue Ranger. So thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And you too may either, one, get a video dedication. Or if you do it often enough, two, you might find yourself as a character in the Dunham Beach Bonfire League. Other than that, good night, everyone. Bye.